Hey guys, it's Issa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video and we're going to be doing the Garifuna tag. And this is my special guest. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hey everyone, me on the the Blanco. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I am Garifuna as well and my parents are from Honduras. Um, if the lighting looks a little off, I haven't adjusted my camera settings yet, so just be a little patient. <laughs> because mine was a little dark. But all right, the first question is, your favorite garifuna dish? Well, my favorite garifuna dish, I'm not sure if it's like a dish, but I really like the snack caballo. Like I really think it's like sweet and just enjoy it. Okay, my favorite dish would have to be machuca, um, hududu, hudu, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, that's my favorite dish. Do you know how to cook garifuna food? I've sat in the kitchen and watched, and I can make rice. Okay, like <laughs> I can't, I can, I know the ingredients, but I don't know the meal to the tea. Yeah. Um. So I know how to make rice and beans, but as far as making anything else, I need not know. However, you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna try to make a video of me learning to make machuca, which shouldn't be hard, but yeah, it would be my first time making it. I think if you know how to cook like seafood. Then you can pretty much get yeah. the gist. So, um, do you know how to speak Garifuna? No, unfortunately, I do not, but I'm trying to teach myself. So, if that means anything, then, you know. <laughs> I don't speak Garifuna either. I've been self teaching and by learning songs and picking up on conversations and writing in my little private dictionary. And yeah, so. Okay. Where are you from? Well, I'm from New York, my parents are from Honduras, so they are from, my mom's from Papalaya, and my dad is from New York. Okay, um, both of my parents, I was born in New York, raised in the Carolina, but both of my parents are from Trujillo, Colón, um, so I'm a Trujillo. All right, girls, thank you. <laughs> um, have you visited back home? I have, three years ago. It's not too recent, but it's close enough. <laughs> Um, I was home of March 2017, so pretty recent. Could have went more recently, but you know, yeah. I <laughs> had to make a trip this year, but my passport is expired. So. <laughs> Lights are so expensive now, so yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, Spirit Airlines, okay. Everyone keeps saying that. It's horrible, I heard. Oh, yes, I'm like, I don't want to risk it. I don't my risk sister it. and I, we were like, you know, the customers are there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Okay, what do you appreciate most about the culture? I appreciate that it's so rich. Like, you know a Garifuna person when you see them and how they act, how they carry themselves, you know? There's just certain things that when you see a person, it just sticks out to you. You know what I'm saying? Like the dance, the food, um, just overall like the women and how they have, you know, their religion and spirituality, that type of thing. Um, I think the richness or what I appreciate about our culture would have to be our history. Um, like, y'all, not many people were not slaves. Like, not many people were supposed to be slaves and fought that. Like, and then we were able to keep our culture. And no matter what country a Garifuna is from, our culture has no borders. So I feel like our history, our culture, language, you know, culture type goes into language, food, and all that. So I think all that's what um, I appreciate a lot of our culture. What does being Garifuna mean to you? It means a lot of things because we're like pretty much one of the few ethnicities or races, whatever you like to call it, that you can be in so many different parts of the world and you know who you are, if that makes sense. I could be in New York, I could be um, in Canada, you know what I'm saying? A Garifuna is a Garifuna person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Regardless of where you're going, I can't, I can't say that a lot of cultures can do that. But our culture, we scatter, we everywhere, so that's one thing I like. What was the question? What does Garifuna Oh, what does it mean to you? Yeah. Okay, right, so what Garifuna means to me is, is I guess, I don't want to tell you this, but a huge responsibility of fighting to maintain the little that is basically being left. Mm -hmm. um, it means loving, appreciating, and understanding my culture and making sure that it continues until I become an ancestor, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that's what it means to appreciate, understand, love my history, 
but to also fight to keep it um, going. Yeah. yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, show us in artifact. Well, I'm not in my house, but if she has one, she can show one. <laughs> the Garifuna flag that just says Garifuna on it. Um, I have a couple things actually, but for time's sake, I have this necklace, like bracelet that says Garifuna on it with the colors. I have this tambor that says Trujillo on it because you know I'm a Trujillo to the bone, just saying. <laughs> And I have this flag that is from St. Vincent, or as we got even I say, you do me, meaning homeland. So those are some of the artifacts I have. How I say you, girl? <laughs> y'all comment down below and see what what kind of stuff y'all have from back home. Yeah, like, you know. Um, do you know how to dance punta? Now, see, I dance to the beat of my own drum, but. <laughs> In simpler terms, yes, I do dance punta, and I was self-taught as well. I learned videos, you know, I used to cry when I was younger because I'm like, I can't dance punta, but <laughs> yeah, I do, I do dance punta. Um, I dance punta, um, I was not taught, I just kind of watched and followed, and I guess in a sense it was just in my blood. <laughs> like, I hate to say it like that, but it was, so I just hear the, girl. Yeah, I just hear drums and would dance, I'd hear the beat, and just... Yeah, so. Okay. And the final question is, who is your favorite guy from the artist? Oh. Go ahead, girl. You can, you can go ahead. <laughs> I got too many. Okay, so I did the guy from the on my last channel, but I mean on my on my channel. However, I have so many. Like I go from the ones that are just. I consider anyone just got even a period. Like it doesn't even have to be got even music. Mm -hmm. But as far as got even music, it would have to be Aurelio Martinez, Paul Nabor, um, Nino Arsu, Jimmy Suazo. I think I'm missing somebody. And then as far as like more modern, like they're got even us, but they sing like in Spanish and stuff like that, or rap in Spanish. A uh, little boy, El Menor. Um, I love El Menor. <laughs> oh my god. And then as far as like maybe like I guess more bands and groups are like based out of the states would have to be like Ecstasy Band, Legacy Gifted, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, girl. See, I only knew one person out of all them people that she mentioned, and that was um, Aurelio Martinez. He my cousin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he not my well, wife. Well, cousin, nobody can say to me, no matter. <laughs> but, um,. As far as that, I know songs by name, like one, two, three, and so That's Didi Didi Impacto. Yeah, so, you know, I know, and I listen to mostly like Caribbean music as well, or like reggae. So, yeah, I just don't know them by song. But, yeah, that was the last question. So make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you're Garifuna, comment nice. down below. Um, put your Instagrams down in the, um... I follow you. Yeah. <laughs> we all need to connect, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, she has a clothing line, so I don't know if you want to show off your clothing line and let them know a little bit about it while you're here. So, I have a little clothing line, it's called Brown Sharing Canela. We're actually going on towards our one year anniversary. You should check that out. Instagram is Brown Sharing Canela. Website is brownsharingcanela.com. I have gear for Afro-Latinos. For well, Afatinas, for Garifunas, Central American people, and pretty much about it for now. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Ciao. This is the outfit that you guys chose for me to wear. This romper, okay, and then this jean jacket. You guys told me that I should wear a fro, so I'm wearing my fro. <laughs> and now I am wearing these sandals that you guys these slides that you guys said to wear as well